Coach, before we get into the excitement of winning another championship, we've already talked about what happened during the game. But from your standpoint, how do you address what went down moving forward with your team? I, I just want to apologize. That's not that's not us. That's not women's basketball. Um, I, I do know that from playing the game a long time, that things happen. You they, they escalate. You get hit here. You get hit there. Um, maybe an official miss a call that you thought they should have made, and it escalates. Um, never, ever do I want our players to react the way that they reacted. Um, the ones in the game, the ones on the bench should not. I think they really know. I mean, we went through the exercise, but sometimes in real time, it's hard to stand behind that line, but they have to do it. They have to exert the same discipline that's required for us to win championships in that same manner. I, I hope this is the last time that we're we're addressing this, but we'll address it again in our locker room. Um, and maybe we need to do some simulations and practice to make sure that we don't we don't leave a dark cloud on our game because our game is in a great place. It's in high demand, and this is not this is not something that people want to see. Talk us through what you talk to your team about, even after that, because you guys still stay together. You still focus on the game plan. Talk us through those last couple of minutes. Um, I mean, for, for us, it was about, it was a little over two minutes left. So during the long break, when they were trying to figure everything out, um, we got, decided to talk to them about what we wanted to do defensively, how we wanted to handle ball screens. Um, we talked about how we need to kill the clock a little bit if we need to kill the clock. Um, and then just they wanted to win it for the players who weren't present. And that was all that they were thinking about is to, to win it for them. Don, what is it about your players when it seems like, hey, maybe you might lose this game, but they are able to pull out victory after victory? I mean, they, they believe in each other. They, they really do have a sense of belief. They have a sense of knowing what needs to be done in any given moment. Now, they don't always execute that, but they, they are aware. And we are aware enough to probably make more of those plays than another team. And that's how we were able to win. You know, to my understanding, you offered Malaysia a scholarship in the seventh grade, right? How long have yes. you been? Take me through the process of recruiting her, what you saw early, and I mean, the performance we saw from her, I mean, unbelievable today. Yeah, we, 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 we saw her in the sixth grade. Sixth grade. We, we didn't get in front of her. We didn't get her to camp until the seventh grade. And that's when we were able to, I mean, she was, she won every award. She won a one-on-one. -on -one. She won a three-on-three. -three. She won everything. And when you win an award like that in camp, we load them up on the gear. <laughs> so we had her in South Carolina gear for a very long time. We're, we're very fortunate she chose us. She is really, she's a generational talent. She can, you know, play like that as a freshman. But she is a freshman. She'll have freshman moments, but she's learning through those moments to, to even have a big game like she had in a championship game and something that's really unfamiliar to her. Your, your substitution is really key at key moments. And I want to talk about Bree Hall because in the game against LSU at LSU, Bree Hall hit two big threes to help solidify the victory. Today, she also came and hit two big baskets for you. Just talk a little bit about Bree Hall. Bree Hall, I mean, the evolution of Bree Hall. She, she wants to play on the biggest stage. She probably got a little bit mad at me because um, I, I played uh, Malaysia longer in the second quarter. It was just because she, was, she, was, she had it going on. Um, so we had to get Bree back in the game, and Bree wants to make the big plays. I thought she had two big baskets for us when we needed them the most, when it seemed like, you know, there wasn't any fluidity to our offense. She just made a play. Players are going to make plays. You want your, your most experienced players in that situation um, when you need a basket, and she came through for us. Coach, thinking about where you and this program are right now, you sit in this arena and you look up and it's full all the way to the ceiling. It wasn't always like that with this fan base, but this fan base turns out and they are loud. What is the level of personal satisfaction like for you to not only get the, the eighth ring here at the SEC tournament, you're looking for another national championship this season and to have this around you so consistently? You know, it's, it's a gift and a curse in that um, they feel this arena because they want us to win. They expect us to win. And to come as close as we came yesterday, on the sideline, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't lose faith that we, would, that we would win the basketball game. But a little part of me felt disappointment for these fans. I did. 
not even my team, not even our staff. A little disappointment for our fans because they, they, they spend their money for three days, three days, you know, ending on Sunday. And if we didn't appear Sunday in this championship game, they probably would have lost some money along the way. So I don't really like letting them down because they never, ever let us down. They fill this arena, which, is, which I think is a great arena. Yeah, is it pro South Carolina? It absolutely <laughs> is pro South Carolina, but it can, be, it can be pro Tennessee. It's been pro Tennessee for a very long time. I heard, I heard the LSU fans louder than our fans at, some, at a certain point in the basketball game. So it's a great arena for, for, for the entire SEC. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumping it. For, the, for this to be our home forever, um, because it's a great place. It's a great town. Greenville, does they do a great job at showing us a, a great time. The fans, everyone. Don, I know this season isn't done. You've got work to do and, and bigger goals ahead, but how rewarding is this conference championship, given the questions coming into this season, maybe the uncertainties with what you had lost, but still the players that return and the, and the players that you brought back? Let, let me just say this. We're, we aren't as good as we are without our conference, without us being pushed in a certain way. I, I do think LSU is a national championship contender, like today. They, were, they weren't even at full strength, and they still gave us a, a run for their money. Um, you don't win national championships without being pushed, you know, by Ole Miss, by Flo even Florida. Florida winning a couple of games. You don't, you don't get as good as we get playing the nobodies. But when you're playing in the SEC, the SEC prepares you for the NCAA tournament, for opportunities to, to uh, compete for a national championship and win national championships. Coach, congratulations. It was a hard fought win, but you're champions yet again, and we will see you a little bit later in March. Thank you all.